So turning 21 can be an incredible time. People have waited forever to get there. They can go and partake of a beverage. They can do certain things. But here's what happens if you have an utma for a kid who gets that money when they're 21. What's an utma? Basically a custodial account that's held for the benefit of that minor until they turn a certain age. Usually in Texas, e.g. either age 18 or 21. I'm Mike Massey. I'm an estate planning attorney. I've helped over a thousand families with issues like this before death and after death, etc. Love to have a conversation with you. So, an UTMA gets released to that person, let's say when they're 21. This could happen in a couple of ways. Either A, you start investing and pouring into this custodial account for your child, thinking, I'll use this for college, I'll use this for blank. But then when they turn 21, you don't want to hand the money over to them because you know that they're going to blow it on alcohol, drugs, partying, just friends, it's crazy stuff, and it's going to be gone. Other situation. Someone passed away, and they left that child the money. Maybe it's a grandparent who left child money. Maybe you pass away and your child gets this money. And at 21, they get all this money. Nothing could go wrong, right? Yeah, lots could go wrong. So they turned 21. Scenario the other day, someone called and said, hey, this 21-year-old can't handle the money. Their sibling got their money at 21, gone. Now they're going to get their money at 21, and I know it's going to be gone within six months. So what can we do to push it out? That's their money. You have to legally hand it over to them at 21, unless you have a court order stating something else. And there may be some exceptions to that. But generally speaking, you have to turn it over to them when they're 21. That's the problem. You don't have much control of it. You may have been funding it yourself. They may have inherited it. But now at 21, they get that money. And a certain percentage of 21-year-olds are just going to blow it. It's going to be absolutely gone. And you can't do anything about it. You can have a conversation with them. You can do better planning up front. You can make sure that your parents or aunt and uncle or grandparents don't leave money to your kids that way. If it's going to be a decent amount of money for couple, talking a couple thousand dollars, maybe a couple of tens of thousands of dollars, probably not a big deal for most people. But if that person's hooked on alcohol or drugs, that just that pours fuel on the fire and just poof. So make sure you know what you're doing. If you're setting up a custodial account for your child right now and funding it, or how you're going to leave your money to your children in case they get it before they're 21, or how your parents or grandparents might leave money to that person who's under 21. Click below for more information or look us up at Mike Massey Law, mytxwills.com.